Hi, uh, thanks, Alan. Can you all hear me okay? Great, the technology is actually working, amazing. Um, I just wanted to give you a very quick kind of briefing on what we're doing with computer-based math because of the way in which I think it sort of relates to, uh, you know, the future of data science and how we all want to make data much more usable uh, across the world. So let me um, uh, sort of just talk you through a little bit of what we're doing here and um, hopefully tie it into what's happening in the rest of the summit. Um, so really we founded computerbasedmath.org to kind of change, move the bar on STEM and particularly math education. And it's kind of a central part of our mission to globally reform the subject matter, not only its delivery, but the subject matter of these subjects. And um, it's kind of like, uh, you know, math is in a very peculiar place in the world because at one level, it's really high. I and mean, the good news, if you're into math and data science and things related to that, the good news is math is really high on the agenda uh, in most countries as a major school thing that needs fixing. But somehow it's not doing the job it should be doing. The bad news is, in my view, that 80% of what's being taught around the world is sort of the wrong subject. And I want just to explain the sort of main theory behind computer-based maths and, and why I believe this. So when you look at maths in a very simple way, the very quick summary of this is the following, that maths is really a four-step process in a sense. You're taking a question in the real theoretical world, and you're kind of defining that question. You know, if I talk for too long and you guys are all stuck in an airtight room, how long will it be till you all suffocate? That kind of question. And you're turning that into a piece of math that's representing that, or you're pulling data in to do that. You're somehow abstracting to something that you can compute from. Then you're computing the answer, and that's the step three. And then you're kind of interpreting the results and taking back the answer from its abstract form to the real world. And the big, big problem in math education in schools around the world is we're spending almost all our time teaching people how to do step three by hand. And what that does is drown out most of these other steps. And it also means the problems are much more simple than they should be. And this particular problem in data science type areas, of course, because that largely depends on being able to do large wide scale computation in various ways. And um, so we should be using computers, of course, in education self-evidently to do more of step three, most of step three, use it by default. And we should be using students to do steps one, two, and four rather than focus on step three. And that's really the point behind what we're trying to fundamentally change computer-based math. So just to zoom out a bit to sort of, you know, how does this relate to the data challenges for society? Well, I believe, you know, and a lot of what we're, I guess you guys are talking about um, uh, yesterday and today are, you know, how, how do we take available information and make it truly accessible? And another part of that is how do we take very average sort of information and personalize it, you know, individually to, to what, you know, you specifically require. And in a sense, part of that picture, the thing that most of the conference is about is, you know, how do we make the machines work better to automate that? So how do we make the machinery end of that so it's much easier for the human? But the other side of the coin is once the machinery is better, you've also got to get the human set up to do the analysis better, to understand, be the skeptical human on the end to figure out how to use this machinery optimally. And so in a sense, a, another challenge for society is getting the citizen to be much more of an analyst, both at a very high level, but also just for the average citizen to be able to do that. And uh, now the first, uh, I'm pleased to say with computer-based maths, we've been building math curricula, or starting to, and the first place that we have actually got a real solid start on this is Estonia, where we have made the a probability and statistics curriculum uh, for secondary school. And this sort of is to slot into their current maths curriculum and to replace the bit that's sort of probability and statistics. And it's pretty interesting how different it is and how much I think it supports some of the modern data science that really needs to be done rather than sort of very traditional probability theory that we tend to learn at school and not end up being able to do many real problems. Um, we've got lots to do. We've got to build out much of the rest of the curriculum. 
we've got to consumerize so this isn't just something that can run through governments but also can run more individually to schools and students we've got to make sure assessment comes along with this because however much we don't like it assessment is a kind of key driver of what changes and we've also got to connect in coding education which has started you know fairly well in the uk in particular in the us to gain momentum and in estonia needless to say um, and uh, I think there's a great connection between what I'm talking about with computer-based maths and what coding is uh, needs to, where coding needs to go. So, it, in a sense, the reason for bringing this up at, uh, to you guys is I'm really hoping that individually, as, as you're interested in this topic, and I know many people come up to me and say they are, and also organizationally, if your organizations are in any way involved in promoting kind of understanding of data and data science and the use of, of that from the human as well as the machine perspective, so to speak. Um, it'd be great if you can uh, be, you know, be great to interact with you over, over things we can do together. Um, we actually have a summit coming up uh, this time in London, last time it was in New York uh, in November. And uh, the, uh, um, that's a sort of place where we pull together everyone who's kind of got a stake in maths uh, and particularly people who are really users and drivers of the use of maths and data in particular, uh, you know, industry, government, education, but not just people who are traditional maths education people talking to each other, much wider scope than that, to figure out how we really move this agenda forward. I think we're getting a huge amount of traction individually around the world. It's a slightly longer, uh, longer go to get, um, to get all the governments and people involved. But any help, for example, we get from industry and from the university sector and from people who are real users and drivers of the use of data is a huge help um, to getting this reform uh, going around the world. So, I mean, the idea is to kind of unscramble maths into a subject that really does support uh, what, we, what we need in STEM and beyond. Thanks. <laughs>